So I grafted these three branches um, a while ago. Actually, these were maybe two months ago. And you can see that they've healed up pretty well already. Because um, when they start to heal, they actually um, will kind of like grow away from each other almost. But it's actually good because they're fusing together. And you can tell that the graft is successful because the leaves start to grow out. So this one, um, the, there's a lot of large leaves. So this is um, doing very well. This one is also growing leaves, so you know it's doing well. And so you can see that like, this, this graph is fairly um, neat. There's not much gaps between the two branches. Whereas this one, the wedge graph, I've always found it harder because you have to um, cut the two pieces so that they match each other very well. And this one's not a quite a good match, um, but you know, it's good enough. And something you might be wondering is, well, when can I take the tape off? Well, if you see that the leaves are growing, you can take the tape off. But if there's no re there's no reason to, um, the tape will automatically come apart as the plant grows. So you can leave it there. Um, and then about a month after these two grafts, I did this one. And so this is a third style. So you notice that this is kind of like a puzzle piece kind of graph where the two pieces are almost like Tetris pieces. And this is a wedge um, graft. And then this is a diagonal cut graft where the um, the pieces are, are pretty much complementary diagonals. So I did a video of these two already, so I'm gonna do one uh, of this today. And so as you can see that the, um, the kind of, um, I guess the split between these two branches, it's very, um, how would I say, it's a very neat graft that this technique it allows a lot of room for air and it, it gives you a very clean um, fuse between the the host plant and the graft. So we're going to do that with this branch and with this plumeria. So I here have your uh, Kaku Wilder. It's a very nice plumeria with orange and um, pink flowers and so I'm going to put it on this plant. So a couple tips before we start grafting. You want to make sure that the plant that you're grafting onto is healthy. So if you if you graft it onto a branch that is dry or the plant itself is, is not doing well, there's a chance that the graft will fail. Um, so you can see that this branch right here, it's nice and plump. Um, it, it doesn't have any kind of wrinkles that would indicate that it's dry. Um, and then I also know that this is a good plant for grafting because these three grafts are healing well. Another um, thing to consider when you're grafting is um, the angle of the branch. So when you're doing this style of grafting, you want to make sure the branch is fairly vertical. Uh, if it's horizontal, it's going to be hard to um, tape up the, the graft onto the plant because of gravity. Um, so if, if the branch were kind of horizontal like this, you'd probably want to go for this kind of graft. And so if, if the branch is kind of vertical, kind of pointing upwards. This style is good and then this style is good. So let's go start with here. So the first thing to do is um, cut. I was trying to root this, but I've decided that I'm not going to. I'm going to graft it instead because um, I'll get flowers more quickly and there's a higher chance of survival. So I want to um, first cut a diagonal on this branch. Uh, the, the kind of more, the steeper the cut, the better. And so you can see that there's white ooze coming out of this um, branch. That, that's a good sign. That means it's healthy. So then I'm gonna place it over here, making sure not to get the, the cut part dirty. Um, oh, actually I need, I need this to make the cut on the host pack. So actually I'm gonna um, keep them next to each other and try to make a cut that is uh, at a similar angle. And then you wanna make sure that the width of the plant is fairly similar um, to the branch that you're trying to graft on. So I'm just gonna use that to align them and then I'm gonna place it back down. You wanna make sure that when you do this, you use a knife that's nice and sharp. Okay. 
see. So this angle is fairly similar to the one I just made. And then now I'm going to try to uh, match them. So you see that they match up fairly well. And if they didn't, I would, um, I would cut it on um, probably the, the, the host plant to make sure that they're well aligned, but this is well aligned, so that's good. So now I'm gonna take the tape and wrap it up. So what I'm wrapping this with is grafting tape. It's basically like saran wrap. And it's, um, the quality it has is that it's um, stretches. So you can use it to form a fairly um, tight seal around the graft region. So I'm gonna wrap it up like a bandage almost. So you want to make sure that the exposed area is completely wrapped up. Okay, so there we go. Okay, so you notice that it um, it connects very well. So that looks pretty good. So I'm gonna put the. Put the sign back on it so I know what's what this plumeria is. So there we have it. So this tree here has four different graphs on it.